Hello, this is episode zero of China Tech Talk, and so Matt and I thought that we would just、uh, take this time to kind of give you guys a bit of context into what this podcast actually is,、uh, who we are, and、uh, why we're actually doing it. So、hmm. I am I am John Artman.、Um, I am the editor in chief of、uh, TechNode. Uh, which is a、uh, English language、um, technology and startups blog focused、um, specifically on China.、Um, I've been here. For, I've been in Beijing actually for、uh, nine years. So since since two thousand eight, when I first came here,、um, teaching English, doing radio.、Um, most recently, I was working for a localization company. But then I saw the chance to、uh, to get back into media. And technology,、uh, working with TechNode, and so、um, I immediately jumped in into that. <laughs> you guys are、uh, interesting. You describe yourself as a blog. I would put you guys as, you know, in my mind, a blog would be.、Uh, you guys are bigger than a blog. I think that's pretty modest, right? Well, yeah. I mean, like the way the way that I think about it, we're like a blog. We're blog style information source. So,、mm. um, so we're not we're not you know we're not we're not necessarily like you know a news outlet. Um, but at the same time, we're not quite a blog either.、Um, you know, our our writers are professional. We keep our standards fairly high in terms of、uh, publishing, in terms of fact checking,、uh, in terms of content quality. But at the same time, you know, we're not we're not a Reuters. We're not a New York Times.、Um, we're not we're not that strict about、uh, what we write and and how we write it. A blog, in my mind, is something you do for a hobby. I mean, I would describe what I do with China Channel as a blog. Or at least、okay. it started out as a blog. Maybe it's a bit more than that now, but yeah. Whereas you guys are, in my mind, distinctly media, and、uh, you know,、uh, I, I, you know, big yourselves up. You, you guys are the like the biggest、uh, English <laughs> language. Come on, you should be more. <laughs> you should be like, a, a, you know, train your being. Right. This is, uh, uh, you know, Techland is the world's biggest English language media de- dedicated to Chinese tech. Right.、Mm, I mean, that's true. That's true. So are you saying that I, is 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 that is this you trying to tell me that I should do that do that over again? No 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 I think、uh, it's fine. <laughs>、um, it's it's probably more authentic me saying that than you.、Um, exactly. But、uh, yeah, I thought I would I would I would correct you.、Uh, I think、uh, you're being too modest.、Um, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for that. Well, anyway.、Um, Yeah, so quickly for me,、uh, Matthew Brennan.、Uh, I run China Channel dot co is my website,、um, and we focus、uh, mostly on WeChat, publishing about WeChat、uh, stuff. Been doing that for a couple of years now, and、uh, we have the WeChat account as well.、Um, I do a lot of public speaking,、uh, a lot of trainings and workshops. I run a, I run a conference series called Chat, which is.、Um, Is a medium-sized conference.、Uh, it's not huge, but it is, you know, in the same respect as Technode. It's like the in its area, the world's biggest、um, yeah, conference for international companies to to learn about WeChat ecosystem, to learn about WeChat marketing.、Um, and what else do I do?、Um, yeah,、um, I do do some consulting as well about WeChat. Yeah, there we go. That's that's what I do. Yeah, there you and, go.、Um, yeah. Yeah, that that's me, really. Cool, cool. Yeah,、um, yeah. Actually, that was that was much better than mine.、Um, I feel like I sh- we should start over again, or, or at least let me let me just do, my, <laughs> do let me just do, do my part again, and、uh, and then I'll just I'll just edit it、um, a little bit.、Um, it. So I I'm so I am John Artman.、Uh, I am the editor in chief of TechNode. We are、uh, the number one source for information about、uh, technology and startups in China.、Um, we've been going since around 2009, since our、uh, editor in chief. Uh, started uh, blogging uh, himself、uh, under the name、uh, no- Moby Node.、Uh, it slowly evolved into、um, to、uh, Tech Node, and so Tech Node is not just our English platform. We also have our Chinese website, so、um, cn. Tech Node. dot com,、uh, and we also run、uh, TechCrunch. dot、uh, cn, which is the Chinese language version of TechCrunch,、uh, because we are the、uh, We are the exclusive China partner for TechCrunch, and we've been with them, working with them since about、uh, 2011. And uh, with them, we also do the、uh, the two TechCrunch events、um, every single year. So usually it's in Beijing、mm. and in Shanghai.、Uh, however, this year in in 2017, we're actually going to be in、uh, in Shenzhen in Shanghai. So we're we're quite excited about about that. Yeah, yeah.、Um, 
so so Matt, so let's let's just kind of I think you know we're we're doing a bit of a, a bit of a, a back and forth here. Um, so let's talk a little bit about about you. So so why why do you want to do this podcast? Oh, why do I want to do this podcast? Um, I think both of us are people who um, put out a lot of content um, about this area, um, about China, about tech. Um, I'm I'm more focused on the ten cent side of things for sure, um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not interested in the whole picture. And you have to keep on top of everything, right? So um, it seems like a niche, but it's not. It's just huge. Um, it's so big, and there's so much to talk about. It's evolving so quickly, um, and no one's really th- there is no podcast out there covering China tech. We were talking about this yesterday, right? Um, so we're, we're we're plugging this gap, which seems like a niche, but I believe globally it's it's huge, and it's only going to get more and more important for people as China tech globally becomes more and more important. And and this trend is pretty clear. So it's an exciting place to be. I think we're both passionate about it, and we're I guess we're trying to bring it to the more people through uh through a sort of audio format rather than uh, what we usually do, which is uh, more sort of text orientated. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like the the tech tech node website, um, it's it's pretty much all text. Um, we wanna we wanna expand into uh, more content uh, types, uh, including including video and and audio. Um, and that's that's one of the main reasons that that I wanted to to start this podcast was because um, my background is actually in radio. Uh, I spent five and a half years um, at uh, China Radio International. Um, mm. At first, uh, doing reporting um, and uh, so, and pack and producing some packages. Uh, later on, I went on to do for about the last two years I was there. I was doing t- almost two shows a day, uh, two uh, mm. one hour live shows um, every single day. So uh, one hour in the morning and then one hour. In, in the afternoon. Uh, and so in radio in general, is just something that I, I really, really enjoyed. Um, I had dabbled in podcasting previously um, to, uh, well, let's just say I didn't take it seriously enough uh, for it to uh, really, really go anywhere. But mm. it was a lot of fun. It was a lot mm. of fun. I really, really enjoyed it mm. because it's a bit more freedom um, than, uh, than, than, than doing radio where you're very constrained by time limits, by, um, advertisers, um, by, you know, various, um, demands on, on what you can and, and cannot say and things like that. So, so, you know, I, I, I've always known that I wanted to do a podcast and now that I'm at tech note, it's the, it's the perfect time to actually do that. Mm. Um, and, and one of the reasons that I wanted to, to, uh, to partner with you, Matthew, is because you are, um, already very much, um, an expert in, in, in this area. Um, and, and, you know, you, you write a lot of, you produce a lot of content that, that has, that has a very, very wide audience and you know a lot about what's going on. I think every time that, that, you know, that you publish one of your reports, I always kind of, you know, do a bit of a face palm and say, why couldn't we have done that? (laughs) So, um, so that's, that's one of the main reasons I wanted to work with you, Matthew, is because, you know, you're, you are an expert in this field and you have, you have a, you have a lot of reach in this area as well. Um, and I think that, you know, going, going with, um, you know, just kind of synergizing a little bit with my with my uh, production ability, and also you know, obviously you know, always looking at at Chinese tech news, and then you know your kind of embeddedness in in um, in a lot of the uh, the expat communities, but also the Chinese communities. Um, you know, you offer uh, a really valuable perspective that I think that that more people would would want to hear. Cool. Well, I'm I'm glad to be a part of it, John. Uh, I'm not as professional as you on the uh, on the on the sort of podcast uh, radio area. For me, this is um, something new, uh, a new format. I do a lot of you know public speaking, so I guess it's I, f- I feel fairly confident from that side. But uh, yeah, you know, pushing yourself and um, going forward and doing something that you you've never done before is 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 something I also you know attracts me. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Exactly. But uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Good, so, good um, so looking, so so looking at um, who we're trying, who we're trying to reach, um, I would say, you know, looking, looking for, for example, at uh, at our website, you know, what what I'm most interested in is reaching people who are um, interested in China, um, hmm. but perhaps they there there's not enough information incoming um and i think that that's 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 one of those spaces where where tech node really really kind of sits where we're in the middle of um people living in china 
and mm. as well as people living outside of China who mm. just want information about what's what's happening. Um, and so the the way that I see it, this podcast is another way to get that information mm. uh, and to add a bit more value as well. Because you know when you are writing a story, there's only so much that you can actually include. And and with with our editorial standards as well, you know we don't have that much space for. Um, for you know, personal views or opinion or or things like that, we try to keep it fairly objective or you know as objective as anyone um, can be uh, when it comes to you know writing about companies that you like or writing about uh, you know uh, big big players in, in the market. Uh, but the podcast is 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 um, you know our chance I think to kind of uh, express a little bit more of an opinion, but and and also you know make it into a discussion that adds value onto uh, the content that, that, that you and I already uh, produce. Mm. Um, and so in terms of intended audience, it's, it's people who want that little bit, little bit extra uh, insight, a little bit of extra analysis. And, and hopefully as we move forward as well, I think, you know, for, for one of our first episodes, we're going to be looking at the background of some of these, uh, these, these market trends that, that we're seeing. And mm. I think that, you know, if you're, if you're always keeping up with the news you, it, it can actually be difficult sometimes to fully understand where these trends actually came from. And so yeah. um, I'm, I'm really hoping that, that we can reach people who are interested in, in, in hearing about that. Yeah, I, that's a good point. Yeah, I think that's a good point. A bit of backstory on what's happening. I think in the, in the next podcast, we'll be hoping to provide that for one of the key trends that's coming out of China currently. Um, and... A lot of people just like listening to podcasts, right? Especially some pe- people like different formats. And um, I love podcasts. I don't listen to them. Um, I kind of go through phases of listening to them in loads of them and then and then stopping and then starting again. Uh, but a lot of the people, and actually the cleverest people who I respect the most, they listen to a lot of podcasts. So, you know, it's, it's a nice format, uh, especially if you're busy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, for for myself at least, I love I love listening to podcasts. Um, I, I I I'm the kind of person that I I, I really like to um, to fill fill my my mind up with uh, different stuff. So you know, when I'm cooking or even when I'm in the shower, <laughs> I'll uh, I'll be listening to to a podcast when I'm riding my bike. I'll be listening, hmm. um, and it's just it's just a great way, uh, another way to consume um, content and to get to get more in, information. Um. But but Matthew, I mean, like, so you know, looking at you know personally or or professionally, you know, like, what are you trying to get out of this podcast? Like, for you, what's a how 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 will you measure the success of this podcast? Oh, uh, that's a good question. How to measure the success? I mean, for me, obviously, we'd like to build a following and uh, you know boast about the amazing numbers we have on this on <laughs> of uh, you know listenership on this podcast. I mean, I'm just doing it for the vanity, really. Um, mm. but besides that, I think, um, you know, selling yourself up as, as, um, as someone who can, uh, you know, provide this kind of service, uh, to the world. I, I really see it as, as a sort of global, uh, thing that's happening here where, um, right now that already there's a lot of people who are very interested in what's happening in China, but I believe that that number of people will, will be multiplied several times over in the next couple of years. And, um, and so, you know, there's, there's going to be an intense um, need for the kind of information we'll be providing. So being at the, the center of this trend for me is in, in any way that I can be there um, is, is great. And uh, I would measure the success in terms of uh, interaction. You know, I think it's the same as WeChat. So, for me, I, I my my I, I publish on WeChat a lot, and I, I consult about WeChat, um, you know, to different people, and um, so you can you can measure those vanity vanity metrics. Oh, I have this many fans and this many followers, uh, but really, is that's a very poor way to measure success on a channel. Um, for me, measure, measuring success is about measuring engagement and measuring results in terms of linking what you're doing to your the business um so bringing that back to this situation uh i think success would be you know using this as a medium to engage with people um have people reach out to us um and have this uh, as a format where hopefully after some time we can start inviting some interesting people onto this podcast that perhaps we wouldn't be able to 
um, you know, reach otherwise or, or people who are really in the, got some very interesting viewpoints. I think that's that's something that I find really interesting that we, we, we should be doing later on, I feel. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, about, it's about community and it's about engagement. Yeah, I mean it's a well, very well said. Um, I, I tend, I tend to agree. Um, the, the when when I look at uh, TechNode's numbers, um, uh, we 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 get quite a bit of traffic, uh, which is really really nice. Um, so that means that that uh, we get we get quite a bit of reach and we get quite a bit of um, of people coming coming to our website. But for me, one of the things that I like to track is is as is, is, as you say, engagement. Um, so you know, we recently re-enabled uh, comments on our website. Um, when we're looking at, you know, uh, our, our, our WeChat presence, um, you know, a lot of it is, you know, engaging with our audience. And that's one of the things that I'm, I'm really emphasizing with, with our team. It's, it's, you know, it's not just about creating the best content. Um, it's also about creating uh, a community around that content. Um, and so I think that for, for me, you know, this, this podcast is kind of another way to, to do that. And as you say, to encourage people to engage with, with us, to, um, you know, share their thoughts, share their, share their ideas about what's, what's going on. And I think that, um, as we get into it, you know, I think there, there might be opportunity for more, more people to disagree with what we're saying. Mm. Um, perhaps you and I, you know, maybe it might, might get into some arguments, which I, I, I kind of look forward to, um, (laughs) But, but I, but that's the thing. I mean, if people are, if, if, if we're making people angry or if we're, if we're getting people to disagree with us and then they reach out and they share their ideas, I mean, to me, that's, that's kind of a measure of success. Like, I mean, I'm not here to like, you know, push the outrage button on everyone. Uh, That's certainly not, not what I want, but, but at the same time, you know, encouraging, encouraging feedback, uh, positive, positive and negative, I think is, uh, is, is, is always good. Um, yeah, well, cool. Actually, so actually, John, there's one thing that I think that's really important. Uh, I didn't, I didn't put forward there. Um, one of the things that drives me to uh, to do something like this, I think it's really important. You know, both of us have uh, lived in China for quite some time, and um, I think that gives us a, a perspective both ways, both from our home countries, respective home countries. You know, I'm from London originally. Uh, and and but having lived in China for so long, I feel like I have these two worlds and, and in, in my life, and I understand both of them, and they're they're very different. Um, but they both have their 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 logic, and and they're both cool. They're both they 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 both work, and they're both great places in their in their own rights. But what I do see globally is um, that the dialogue about China is often, especially in media gets um, pushed in certain directions that personally I feel is uh, I'm not so pleased about. And uh, if we can provide, I feel, a more sort of balanced opinion. Um, I'm very bullish on China in terms of their place in the world and, 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 and their culture. I think right now there's not, there's, there's definitely um, a bias in, in, in media outside China to switch the dialogue when we're discussing things about you know about China Tech. I think it also applies for China Tech as well, and tech companies. When when people talk about Alibaba, when they talk about Tencent, um, you know, in these large organizations from China, there is themes and um, there is bias in in a lot of media that people don't realize. And any way that we can readdress that and provide another sort of viewpoint, um, which perhaps doesn't you don't hear so much. Um, outside China, I think is doing, uh, hopefully doing China a service as well. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I completely agree. I think that, um, I mean, for me at least, you know, reading Western news is a great way to kind of keep up with some of the, the bigger picture things. So, you know, uh, foreign policy, how, how China is interacting with the rest of the world. Um, and, and also in, in some cases, you know, when it comes to, uh, the nuts and bolts of, of, uh, government policy as well. Um, uh, I think there's, a, there's a lot of insight to be had there. Um, but, uh, but in general, I do agree with you. There is, there is a bit of a dearth of, um, authentic voices, I think, coming, coming out of China, uh, authentic voices coming out of China who 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 are speaking English uh, for for a variety of different of, of reasons, um, 
and and I and I, and I agree. I mean, you know, one of the one of the great things, um, Dan Carlin, one of the first uh, big uh, successful podcasters, um, mm. you know, he really encourages his audience to start doing stuff like this because. It is very much, you know, part of this this wave of um, of content creation where um, everyone has has a voice. Uh, whereas before, you know, we we're always um, constrained by the distribution channels, right? Uh, TV or, or radio or or yeah, yeah, uh, or newspapers or something like that. Uh, these days, you know, like just just what you and I are doing. All we really need is, you know, um, uh, a microphone, a computer, and a connection to the internet. Uh, and then it, you were pretty pretty much good to go, um, and so yeah, I, I agree. And, that, and, I, and I think I think you're you're really on point there um, by saying that this is this is an opportunity for for people to kind of get get another perspective. Um, and I'm not going to say that we're always going to be right. Uh, mm. I'm not going to say that we're always going to going to know know everything or be able to answer every question um, that uh, we might not be able to answer every question well. Um, or at least uh, as good as we like. But at the same time, you know, at the very least, what we are doing is we're providing an authentic voice about what's what's happening mm. um, in in China. And and to be honest, Matt, it sounds like we just we, you know we just came up with the idea for another podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe maybe we can think about doing something a bit more uh, long form and in depth about other other things um, down the road. But. Um, but yeah, so that is episode zero. If you like what you heard, um, please, um, you know, feel free. Of course, we welcome you. We 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 ask that we encourage you to share on on social media, uh, and also don't don't forget to uh, to leave a review, uh, maybe a star or a thumbs up on on iTunes or perhaps um, anywhere else that that you do listen to podcasts.